Hi, I'm Natasha Lockhart. Today on Studio Chatter, we've got a full program lined up. I'm Stacy Beck. The harvest continues, and we'll talk to one family that keeps the produce coming. And I'm Angie Murphy. If you're looking for a sports program for your kids, we've got a great recommendation. And we'll talk easy menu options with Chelsea. All this and more on Studio Chatter. Welcome to Studio Chatter. Labor Day is behind us and we are now heading into full fall mode. Are you ready for that? I think I am. Yes, and we're dressed I know, ready for funny. it today. Mm -hmm. Walking right? in studio. I love that we, we did don't not plan. plan it. And look wow. at us. We look we're fab, ready. guys. We well, we have match. Fun Farm coming, so I thought some overalls. Uh -huh. But when I was shopping, I was really like, can someone when you're 50 wear yellow? Yes, overalls? you're wrong. Well, you're pulling it's it so off. cute. The salesperson said I could. And you of did. course she did. You are. Have she, of course, of course she did. But that. we're saying as friends, are. Yeah. you are. Well, you're rocking nice. well, I think we have a fun Sweet. show. And yes, we I have a am show. ready for fall. What Our have you last been doing episode? so far like, to get ready? Like, have you have you pulled the porch oh, into full um, fall mode yet? No, no. none of that. Okay. Oh, I did a, I've done a little fall shopping. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think mentally the shift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, leaving summer behind is always so hard. Mm -hmm. Because is. summer I know. is so And then fun. when you transition, then you start to feel that, that cozy feeling yes. that fall starts to set like in. Wanting to cook more. And and yeah, cozy and up and yeah, hot family and pumpkins. Well, it's yeah. almost, it's like so final. Like mm -hmm. there's yeah. that last, that last Labor Day weekend. It's like you're putting summer to bed and there's, and you know it. And so I but even though it's hot out, like today was so hot, right. but it's not summer. No, right? it's fall. It's a fall day. Even though hot technically fall it's not fall. Right. <laughs> this is but true. We went into full panic true. mode, like the kids and I, oh, well, we have to, we have to swim today and tomorrow <laughs> and for 48 hours in a row because we can't do it so again. So what did you do for Labor Day? So we divided our time between a Splash Summit and then okay. we had, we had gone a little further north just to spend some time okay. in the other pool because it was the closing day. But we were super torn too because the final, final, like the final time that you could go to the Spanish Fork pool. I know. So, I'm sad I missed that. I tried yeah. for three weeks to get my little grandson down there and we never made it again. Mm, no, I wanted to sad. do a final swim. Yeah. So what did you do that. for Labor Day? Anything exciting? We, it was our 30th wedding no. anniversary. Wow. Yes, Happy guys. Years. 30 years. Yay. So we're going to go somewhere great. And then we have like hunts planned and different trips. And so we ended up just going out to Park City for a couple oh, days. A and it was one, so nice. And then on our way home, we're like, we're just going to head home. And then I'm like, I don't want to go home yet. Did so we drove up like Cascades Rings. I did do Swiss Days as well. Did you? Did? Okay. Fabulous. With Yay. Rhett? No, with Rhett's sisters and mom. We do that every year. Go up oh, there and okay. spend the night and mm. go eat at Don Pedro's mm. um, the night before. And then we're down at Swiss Days at like 8 ah, in the morning and so just shop fun. around, have knockwurst. Okay. It's one of my favorite. No, you guys things. used to have a family house up there, we and did. you sold it. So we sold it this last year. So was that this different? was sad. But we stayed. They do have a condo in Zermatt, so that's oh. where we were able to okay. stay with just the girls. Okay. So, but we did drive by the ranch, and it was it's sad. Oh, it's sad. They're remodeling. And did you say it. you went up to Cascade Springs? Yeah. So then me and Rhett on our way back. So then we went up and stayed by Park City, and um, on our way down we went to Cascade Springs and just kind of hiked around. It was beautiful, gorgeous up there, mm -hmm. and then took the loop up and over and. I bet I have nice. not been to Cascade Springs in years. I bet like 25 years. Stacy had been a long time. Wow. Right. And, but it was neat up there and we got there like at one and it was pretty like decent by like 2, 2.30 I can tell it was like people in their dresses and suits like it was oh, getting really getting busy good. up there but you so, should go. Okay, we were fun. up Fairview Canyon camping and we went up Friday and there's a couple little yellow leaf patches mm. here and there. When we came home Monday it was incredible how much change had happened in three days. That, it always blows yeah. my mind. Just a little bit more cool and yeah. they just start to go. So, so that makes, I think that helped yeah. my mental shift. Mm -hmm. Me too, oh being out there and the so cool fun. air a little mm -hmm. bit too. Yeah. In the so I think I saw in your post and I didn't even really know this was a thing until my nanny had introduced us to the term because she had taken the kids. Hammocking. Did you, did you go hammocking? 
I, or is, or is you this, just I, take I thought I just said I was hammocking. Okay. <laughs> but yes, we do take hammocks in our trailer. Okay. So when we are camping, we put up the hammocks in the trees. Because I think I think that that the, is a term. It is. Yeah. Isn't yes. It? Like the, kids the, were in high they, they would I was really, say the younger yeah. generation. They really. They go they hammocking. Did. Yeah. Like yeah. on a Friday night, they go up somewhere and set them up. And I wonder if that hammock. has more meaning than what we think. Yeah. Of. We, <laughs> think, <laughs> we think, think that they're well, just too lazy in a hammock. They tiered like the hammocks, yes, and then they like actually hang out. Hang out. Yeah. And we saw that, and my husband was like. How are people getting in those upper hammocks? I'm like, I have no idea. No <laughs> idea. They bring a ladder. Probably stand on each other's shoulders, throw them in. Something. I don't know. You yeah. know what? I did see a darling Christmas card a couple years back. Okay. And they had three hammocks, and the families were all in the hammocks. Oh, I think there was oh, wow. some photoshopping involved. Okay. But it was so cute. But it was still cute. cute. It was okay. a really cute card if, if you're planning ahead. Okay. Well, there were just some things that I, I mean, I was introduced to this summer, just some th activities that she would take the kids hammocking and they had done some ice blocking. And I'm like, is, mm -hmm. is ice blocking what I think it is? Like, like you get the block of ice and you yes, actually go, do go down they the grass still hill. still do that. So oh, that was, doing that. Yeah, yeah, so fun. Oh, fun. But, well, I'm super excited for our guests. I am too. We've got a good show, guys. Once again, I keep, we say that every week, but we have got great we people do. here. Yeah. We really do. We really yeah. do. So I'm Jumping excited right about it. Jumping right into fall. Yeah. It is. Super exciting. Next on Studio Chatter, what's happening at the Gordon Family Fun Farm these days? Stay with us to find out. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. A regular at the farmer's market for many years has been the Gordon family with their corn and pumpkins. And with Halloween coming up, they are getting ready for the corn maze. For all the details, let's welcome Brandon Gordon to our table. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hi, girls. Hey, this little is so exciting. It's been a couple just, years. Yeah, it right? has been. I can't, yeah. I can't remember the last time. It might have even been longer than that. Right? But first of all, we're dressed for Farm Talk I, yeah. today. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're wearing totally your fabulous shirt, shirt, but we're all in the, like, yeah. Stacy's yeah. ready. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's start with Farmer's Market. Okay. Yes. Okay. How long have you guys been doing it? Do you even know? We were trying to decide the other day yeah. because it technically started over at the park, the library park. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, 20 plus years ago. Oh my gosh. Um, Sarah Ogwen, the McMullins, yes. they would sell their fruit. and. The Gordon started doing just some red potatoes, and then mm. it evolved, and we started really? doing sweet corn and pumpkins and all varieties of squash. Started with red potatoes. That's what we I started doing. It does not sound so right. good right now. And ironically, <laughs> this was the first year we didn't do red potatoes because my dad had back surgery this year, oh. and so we decided, well, that would. Not it's not going to work be. to be mm. doing all the bend over. I imagine yeah. picking okay. potatoes is hard to so, do. So, Brandon, yeah. how are you guys liking the new location? So far, so good for us. Okay, we good. have really been, you know, we've been really happy and heard positive things. I, I love it. it. Yeah. I, I personally do. love it. I couldn't yeah. picture it first when we're saying that we're like having it down that row, but it's like the walking path. Oh, the walking then splits path is it. great. It's beautiful. If it's really yeah. hot, that's unfortunate yeah. for you guys sitting down there in the heat. Yeah. yeah. But the new location is awesome. Yeah, and yeah. we haven't had any rain days, but if we did, mm. right, we would have kind of a muddy mess, but mm -hmm. we've been fortunate. Yeah. During the we market, have. and we've had some in the past when we're when we were at City Hall. Yeah, and we'll handle that when it happens, okay. if it Touch happens. Right here. But, Can you tell us a little bit more about the SNAP program? Uh, yeah. So if you are, um, if you have the ability to receive um, monies through, say, food stamps mm -hmm. or uh, an EBT program. You can exchange those for some green coins is how we get them oh. paid to us as vendors. Mm -hmm. And we exchange those um, at the end of the day with the chamber representative okay. there. Um, and then they re are reimbursed through that, that program. program. That yeah. is such a cool and idea. I, I love that. I think I give credit to Wendy and because and, it's at been Tabitha's, in place yeah. with Tabitha's way because it's been in mm -hmm. place for... I want to say we've been doing it for at least four or five yeah, years. years. So, so, yeah, years. It used to be wooden chips, and now they're green coins, and it's wonderful because those people are able to come get some fresh. Oh my gosh! Products. There's and, and the vendors better. are all pretty good about it. I mean, I imagine oh. if they get cashed out immediately, there shouldn't right. be any problems, yeah. right? Yep. yep. We'll get a yep. check even if we have to wait a week or whatever, and okay. just say you can check. But it's really awesome. Great program. What's your favorite cool. part about being down there? 
Oh, geez. I mean, for us, it's it may sound a little, you know, I don't know how to. It's it's really about the family of the farmers market. I mean, every vendor is mm -hmm. literally like. Uh, a family member uh -huh. and it's so crazy how you start to know what's going on in their oh, their really? families and their lives okay. and, and you you really get to know everyone and so for me personally it's being down there and and seeing you know each and every different family every summer and every every Saturday and you really you, get to you know become them. very close, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel as visitors, I kind of feel the same way. Right. It's like now, salsa mantra, hey, be back for a sample, okay, going to pick up some yeah. bread. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. No. And they start to, yeah, make connections. Totally. It's nice. Know it what is you a want. social outing. Totally. It is. Well, speaking of social, this is kind of the precursor to the fun farm. Yeah. So tell us all about that. This is like the most exciting time of the year. I think for all of us, we get so giddy thinking about going to the maze and just having fun. It is totally. I was having a conversation today at work with uh, a lady I work with and saying how after Labor Day, we can tone down our sprinklers and start mm -hmm. to conserve more water. And you start to, the temperature starts to drop and you feel that mm -hmm. just Oh, just fall the in the air, right? Uh -huh. It is the vibe. Mm -hmm. And so um, a couple of years ago, we're in the corn picking and we're just having always deep conversations, right? In the corn field. Deep, deep conversations. Deep conversations. Which, corn. Yeah. You, just so you know, you got to be careful what you say in the corn field. Oh, I've because never there's so many this. ears. Angie. Oh. Stacy was a little Funny slower dad told us. Angie knew it. Yeah, I'm saying, one of my dad's favorite jokes. Yeah, I I love heard. lots of ears. So you got to be careful what you say. <laughs> However, we're having a very deep conversation about like the future of the farm, right? right? Mm -hmm. And my oldest, uh, my my brother's oldest son. So he's really my oldest nephew on the Gordon side. You know, I told him. I said, you know, you you want to do something now if you're going to do something and so they kind of mm -hmm. came up with this brainchild of Gordo's and last year was the first year and so it's evolved and and Pete's probably got some great pictures oh I know he does he yes. went down and took some of the the Utah Jazz this year is the maze Ooh, that they do cool. they've ah, I added, wondered yeah, yeah I wondered what the big yep. yeah okay they've added some new animals there's tortoises that, and chickens to view and we're more of the uh, younger crowd if you will we're not going to cater to like the teens the teens okay yeah noon okay. to nine noon to nine um just a really fun lot of slides a lot of family fun things um saturdays we're going to have waffle love we'll have a different oh, food truck okay. each saturday all right burger wow. supreme the really? jurassic tacos a lot of the ones you see at the friday night in the park. What time um, do you guys, are you guys open on Saturdays? Because weekdays are noon as well. Okay, yeah. so mm -hmm. noon to nine. Yep. I like yep. that. It's, it's yeah. fun. Oh, it is so yeah. fun. Yeah. I think last year was really the first year. It, it yeah. seems like mm -hmm. it would have been the second year. I know, already, I feel like it's a tradition, around, right? Yeah. right? It's, well, I'm glad. Last yeah. year was a long year, though. Okay, Maybe let's all be honest. It really was, wasn't it? <laughs> it went on we on. can go out of the house. <laughs> let's go down to Gordo's. Yeah. yeah, and it was, last year was like a breath of fresh air to Yeah, to get out. And, and mm -hmm. we were worried that all that effort was going all for naught, but people came out and it was It was a good great. Time. And if I remember correctly, when you go down there, you can buy pumpkins, uh -huh. yeah. produce. Yeah, my dad's always had his little, we call it the little stand next to his house. And okay. it, if they're not open, it's an on your honor thing. You can it. Venmo him or drop cash in the box. And I okay. love that mentality. And so great. I love that small yep. town. Okay, yep. how do you make your corn maze? Who's in charge of that? Do so, you hire that out or do you guys do it? He does it in his spare time. I didn't do it. No, I didn't. But just to be clear, down there and I'd love to take all the credit, but I haven't lifted a finger at anything at Gordo's. List, okay, you know? okay. And usually the politician in me would take credit for Sure, all of you're just uh -huh. their marketing yeah. director. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just the, the good looking face. Yes, <laughs> um, the chip games. The, yes. the chip yeah. games, Angie, yeah. Uh -huh. um, but most people think that you cut the corn maze like after the corn's grown. But what you right. do is you mark it out at, with when the corn's just that tall and you go and spray it with killer and you kill that area. I had Aww. no idea. I yeah. had no idea either. So yeah. then you're like out all of that money. <laughs> well, that's a great way of thinking about it, but the whole... <laughs> but you're going to gain money by the corn mazers. 
Yeah. Okay, the people What's coming. What's better, the corn <laughs> or the maize? I had not even <laughs> thought that through. Boy, we, <laughs> yeah. So you just oh. kill it, but you got oh. to like, yeah, cause you in your, like who does the design and how yeah, do you, you know? Yeah, you survey like, it out. Okay, you know, it's a GPS? Just, yeah, you just okay. survey it all out. And, and this year, send up the drone. The Utah Jazz. Utah Jazz. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, love that. Jazz. Well, my gunner was just mm -hmm. in love with the balloon artist. So we okay. probably bought yeah. a bajillion. <laughs> my little nephew, Bronco. Yeah. 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 Balloons. Oh, this one. I need a new one. I <laughs> need a new one. That's what was so cool. Was, <laughs> as last year was our first year, as, as things evolved, like one nephew was like, I'm going to be a balloon artist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we go down there the next day, and he's he's learned how to tie balloons on YouTube or whatever. And, set up his own little did shop a great job. and then some of the little littles um the youngest grandkids they set up their own little store and they oh. bought like you know toys mm -hmm. and resold them and so each one of yeah. the kids has had that. some involvement and that's always what my dad's dream has been about oh, the farmers market the and his farm is it's not about oh. anything other than bringing the family together. But not only that, your family is coming together, but then our big other family yes. work community as a family are looking you're bringing forward together. to it also yeah. and bringing yeah. their families. And then some, as right. it just is growing and just kind of evolving to this. So what's the awesome opening thing? day? The 15th. Oh my gosh. Next week, hey, September 15th. So September what does it cost? How do they buy tickets? Yeah, what is all seven that bucks, you know, just show up and and, and pay at the door. Is that for kids and adults? Everyone's mm -hmm. just $7, yep. keep it easy? Yeah. Okay, so family. Do you have season pass? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kay. Last year we had season passes. I don't, Okay. I'm not sure what the details of that will Kay. be, but Kay. we had some of the same cute kids that were there just. Oh, that's my girls. The they dads. are starting to buy season passes. I'm like, you're going to go that many times? And they're like, yeah, you get bored with those kids. You want them to go play and yes. get out. Well, so. you can yeah. still get yeah. outside, and it's very appealing yeah. to the mm -hmm. smaller ones. So mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Well, yeah. all right, we'll see you there for yeah. sure. Excited. <laughs> you bet. No problem. Coming up on Studio Chatter, what if your kids are interested in sports, but you don't know where to start? Help is on the way. Stay with us. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Getting your kids involved in extracurricular sports can be intimidating, especially if they're just starting out. Welcome Roger Lynn from I-9 Sports to our table. Thanks so much for having me. Yes, of course. Here. Thank you. Thanks for he, joining us. Well, He came from far away. Right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> A little bit. Came from Albuquerque, New Mexico. And he flew in just for us. Absolutely. So we appreciate that. Thank That's you. a good well, travel. Again, thank, thanks for having us. Well, you and I happened to cross paths during Fiesta Days, mm -hmm. and I was very intrigued by the program just because I saw the, the pictures and I-9 Sports, and there was, you know, just a little bit of, de of a description of, of what it entailed. So please, let's dig in. All right, uh, I-9 Sports is, is new to the area here, mm -hmm. but it's not really new to myself or to the franchise itself. Okay. I-9 Sports has been around since 2002, and wow. I've been running the I-9 Sports in Albuquerque for the last 10 years, Wow. and we actually run another market in California, so for the last three years. Okay, so but you're just starting the Utah market correct. right now. So exactly. this is new for us, so explain a little bit about Perfect. what you provide. We, we do six different programs. We do flag football, soccer, t-ball, basketball, and cheerleading. Wow. They okay. cover volleyball? No, I, I, think, that, I, think, okay. I think that was yeah. the yeah. first one. There you go. There we go. Um, and I think that what makes us different, we, we always play one day out of the week okay. on either a Saturday or a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Right now, all of our programs here are set for Saturday. Um, we believe in that method because we really don't want to burn kids out. And uh, I think you, you caught eye to one of the stats on our yes. flyers. Uh -huh. um, 70 to 75 percent of kids quit sports by the age of 12. No way. They do. Overwhelmed and or overworked the, or? It's because, in a nutshell, it, it's no longer fun to them mm -hmm. or it's too much pressure put on yes. them by either their parents, their coaches. Mm -hmm. And the last thing we want to do is have them burn out or quit sports when it matters most. So. Right. We, we do a lot of unique things in our program, so I know a lot of parents, they ask us, well, when do you practice? Well, we practice on the same day of, of game time. Mm -hmm. So it's very convenient for moms and dads, but it's geared to allow the kids to look forward to something each and every week. Okay, so what okay. ages is this allowing kids to start this program? We start at age three for oh. soccer and cheer, and then age four for our fo flag football program and basketball program, 
the volleyball starts at age seven and t-ball starts at age three. Wow, so my grandson will turn three in November and you're registering now for winter which starts in January, correct? Correct, we're, we're gonna start January 8th, so we're already start taking enrollment now. Okay. And the earlier you register, the more you're always gonna save because we have tiered pricing. Oh, okay. So that's what we're doing now, we're trying to get the word out there, let, let all the members know, register early so you can save the most. So three-year-olds <laughs> can play soccer? Absolutely. I, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, our kids have done that in other leagues because there mm -hmm. wasn't one available here, so we've gone to a different town. But I'm interested in, so it's just one day a week, so we practice before and then have the game time. Who are they playing? Is that other I-9 teams or is that other? We build the, our own internal teams. Okay. So okay. the enrollment, based on who registers, we build the, the age groups and the divisions and all the teams. So it's kind of the mm -hmm. same competitiveness across the board yes. because you're basically running that yep. aspect okay. of it. And the, like the that. other thing that we do is we honor all buddy requests. So if your daughter had a best friend that they want to play on the same team, we just mm -hmm. honor that. When you register, you just key in that information and then we, oh, we pair nice. them up. That's great for yeah. carpooling or if you know mm -hmm. mom and dad are out of town, the, your kids can still go to the game. Yeah. And yeah, I like it because I think that there's a place for competitive sports and some people are very competitive, but like I always wanted to try and play mm -hmm. like something else like track and I did it one time because I didn't have enough time to sure. put in the everyday after school practices. This is one of those programs. I was a multi-sport athlete mm -hmm. in, in uh, high school. When I got into college, I specialized in, in football. But um, more and more athletes, if we can get them to not specialize and be uh, multi-sport athletes, mm -hmm. that's gonna help them in their overall athletic careers and hopefully keep them from quitting um, too early on the sport they really want. You don't okay. compete well, in. I think it's very appealing as a parent because of the cross training mm -hmm. and the exposure. So at an early age, how do you really know like what you love or unless right. mom and dad tells you, well, right. this is what you're gonna do because that's what I did or I have a love of football, so I'm gonna do that. But mm -hmm. but hey, I really wanna try soccer or whatever the case but may be. But we don't have time for four days a you, week. You don't yes. have time for four days a week. You don't, you, there's just, there's so many things or you don't wanna invest in mm -hmm. something that you might not do long term. So, I mean, I love, I love the idea of that also. Um, so let me just throw a wrench into this. So what, so what if my son wanted to try two sports and, and you're only designating it to Saturdays right now? Is, do you just have to stagger your seasons? Is that the best option? You know, um, the Saturday, Sunday would certainly work, right. best case scenario, but sometimes it happens where depending on, we could bring the older kids in at one location mm. in first mm -hmm. and flip flop that at another location where that could work out. Okay. And the best way to, to, to make sure that we can accommodate that, if you're a coach in our system, we're going to make those accommodations to adjust the schedule. So if you're coaching over here for t-ball and then you want to do soccer, mm -hmm. we'll make it happen. Okay. Which brings me to my other questions, like with the coaching mm -hmm. and where they're gonna practice and perform or whatever, where does that look like here in Spanish Fork? We're, right now we're working at with different uh, middle schools and primarily because it's gonna, we're looking at indoor gyms. Okay. So once we have the exact facilities, um, lockdown, we're going to announce that on our Facebook and then push that out to all of our members. Okay, okay. Nothing officially yet. I wish I had it here. Right. But no, of course. So yeah. it will be at local venues. Yes. And then are the coaching staff, is that parents or? Right. Is parents, that? yes. Okay. We, we definitely lean, that, that helps us to bring the cost down. Right. So we, the one thing that we do an excellent job is we do coaches clinics each and every season. So okay. we have our best staff to lead those clinics in each of the sports. Okay. And you'll see me, I, I'll fly down here because I, I do the same thing for California. I fly down there and help lead either football or soccer. I know my brother, he's really good at basketball. And so we're just excited to help train this, you know, the parents in this community and, and, and bring something to the community that yeah. everyone can be proud of. It's a little and, different and than a rec program. Well, I'm excited too because I think it's not overwhelming also where they don't necessarily have to try out either, right? Like every, it's kind of like everybody right. makes their, the team for whatever they want to try that season. Correct. There, there's no tryouts. There's no fundraising. Um, I, I grew up where I was always in competitive leagues. Mm -hmm. So that was normal to me. And okay in that atmosphere with tryouts, you can manipulate that um, 
very easily. You mm -hmm. could sandbag a tryout <laughs> and then stack your team in certain ways. We don't need to do that here. I mean, the big picture is our first and, and core goal is for everyone to have fun. Uh, if they're having fun, they're yeah. going to want to continue to play sports. Right. Yeah. Right. I do like that. Mm -hmm. Build confidence. Are your referees also local? Are they volunteers? Are yes. they paid? Or um, they, they are paid positions. <clears throat> okay. So we have site managers. They're, they're paid. We have sport coordinators. They're paid positions. Okay. The all the officials are paid. So. I think from an organization level, what parents will find is this is a highly organized program. We send game day text alerts the day before if they opt into that. So let's say they forgot their schedule. The day before, we're going to text you okay. and let you know, hey, Johnny's playing on field three. You're wearing the blue side jersey this week. Okay. Another okay. question. Yeah. You are from New Mexico. Correct. So you're not running the local Utah I-9. Who is? My sister-in-law and my and my brother. So okay. Shaylee and Riley Lynn are the program directors here. Okay. We meet weekly. So uh, Zoom, I think with COVID and everything, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's I'm like sorry. the new norm. Yes. Um, ironically enough, before COVID ever happened, because we had already taken on another location in California, we were already on yeah. the Zoom mm -hmm. two years before. So wow. that okay. was a kind of an easy transition and, and not very awkward for us to. So you to, have local prod. Project? Program. Program. Pro program directors, yep. Program and directors. is there an okay. office location that somebody could walk in and maybe talk more to somebody, one of one of those folks about the program? Not a, a traditional office setting okay. that way because most of your registrations and things, you can just handle that online. Okay. okay. We do have uh, where we receive all of our uniforms and all of our packages and equipment that goes to our, our UPS box. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, very so, good. So, online, do you have a website? We do. How do you, you yeah, just what's go the best way? i9sports.com, and we have a mobile app. We have, uh, if you just go to the website, just okay. i9sports.com. Okay. Yeah. And then you had mentioned maybe offering a promotion for any of our, our viewers. Absolutely. Anyone watching today, please, if you get to the registration screen on i9sports.com, on the payment screen, just type in Chatter10. It'll save you ten dollars on any program we have. Perfect. That's awesome. Sweet. We love so it. Sign yes. her up. If you can <laughs> say do. anything about the program, like what your passion is about it, or what people would like to know about it, what would that be? You know what? Just really building kids up and give mm -hmm. them an opportunity where it's not uh, high pressure situations. We really want it to be fun. We want them to come out, play with their friends, take us up on the buddy and coach requests because it's geared for them to have fun. So. That's our, our, our number we thing. We need more fun. Number one thing, yep. yes, we keep do. it fun. Yep. Awesome, all right, and that deadline's mm -hmm. coming up, so make sure to check it out. Thank you. Yep. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much, guys. Thank you for having us. Of Thank course, you. thanks for joining us. Coming up on Studio Chatter, what's going on in Spanish work? We'll talk it through. Stay with us. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. I think it's safe to say that Spanish Fork is the place to be. New restaurants, business, and fun events. Stacy, what's going on? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, we are the bomb here in Spanish we are, Fork. Huh? We really are. Tell we us all about why we are. Why we are. <laughs> I think the biggest thing that Mayor Leifson mm -hmm. said in his 16 years that before he was done, there would be a steakhouse. In Spanish, yeah, really? that, that was his that goal. That was like his goal. Huh? It, to it totally was. I mean, he's done many, many other things, fabulous right. things. But it's official that Texas Roadhouse will be wow. breaking ground and building between Wiggy Wash and Hampton Inn and Suites. Really? Okay. So over on that pad. Okay. So, so like where Beto's, like that across, little area yeah. right there? Yep, right okay. over there. So Excellent. right by the movie theater. Which is oh, fantastic be so because nice. really, if you are in town overnight and you're staying at the hotel, you always oh. want something that's kind of right. within walking A little bit distance nicer, and, but walking yep. distance. Yep. Yes. yes. Fantastic. So there. What Can't wait for those rolls and steaks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, Chipotle. <gasps> <gasps> We get very excited. You guys want to go there to eat? Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. I did tell my husband, I'm like, I can't wait for Chipotle. And he's like, oh, it's just like Cafe Rio. I'm like, no. no in it's, what sense? It's just girl food. No, he can get a burrito. And that's what I, I don't think it. they know. Yeah, they need it, to go. It feels healthy. <laughs> it so is it's healthy. It's going on the pad next to Chick fil A, which I know your fan favorites of Chick fil A. Oh, what? Goodness. Over there? Yeah. 
where? Where Kmart was? No, just right on that pad, right next to right Chick-fil-A. Right next to, oh, the empty lot in between that and the, and the oil. Jiffy Lube. Yes. Oh right my there. gosh, wow. that'll be nice and that'll squishy in there. Right, I like it. And then Apparently we're underfed <laughs> in Spanish <I> work. <laughs> well, I'm not ama- announcing any Mexican restaurants, so that's a good thing, because okay. we already have 10 we, of those. We do. Mm. Candles, I think that's how you say it. <gasps> Ice, Ice cream. cream, okay. Yeah, I've going never to heard be of that. Over, it's the building that's going up by Nebo Credit Union, be- between like, just east of Costco. Okay, I've yeah, seen a I couple of those pop yeah. up recently. So it must be a new, a new thing. Oh, like I've a new seen franchise. That building trend in Utah Maybe or Utah County or I don't know yeah. is it more like a Baskin Robbins or like a yes. Cold Stone like a mix-in or just like well scoop? I've never been there I ate okay. some at a wedding but I mean okay. for me ice cream is ice cream right Any I just didn't know if it was mix-in good. style or if it was yeah, just I scoop and eat the one I had at the wedding was scoop and just eat, scoop and eat. Yeah. Okay. Just scoop and eat. have either of you eaten at Slim Chickens no no and the Are only we? other one I saw before is is there one in Draper I don't know. I had never even heard of it. And so, so is it like a Cane's chicken? A what? A Cane's, Cane's chicken. Maybe that's what I thought. Have you it heard was. of Cane's? No. Gosh, that's just improbable. Just oh recently. my gosh, okay, guys. Is that where I was? And like the lineup cute. was like. Yes. Okay. So we had it first in California. Okay. And then they put one in Draper and now just recently in Provo. It's like kind of like a Popeyes, but even better chicken. Really, really good. Okay. Yeah. I have mm. never eaten at Slim's, but it's going um, just kitty corner from Costco where that house has been for sale forever and it's just east of Quick Quack. Yes. Okay. So that's so sold. That I house saw the down. for yep. sale sign on it. So okay. Those are your latest food updates. Wow. So that must be like maybe a little bit nicer restaurant, the Slim Chickens? Or is it still like kind of. Ooh, I think it's still drive through or you okay. can go in. So okay. either one. Okay. I don't think it's like sit down. I Not sit down like, like Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. What else is going on in the city? So I, I believe I heard, oh, I think I heard. Why should I announce it here? I don't know. It, it may <laughs> be, be careful. It may, it may, it may, <laughs> You've been down that road before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right next to um, R&R Barbecue, I heard a coffee shop is going in oh, and fun. some other things that they were not aware of for sure what was going in. Okay. So. Wow. Um, and then more clothes shopping. <gasps> Yay. Yay. Buckle. Do you guys <gasps> oh ever my remember goodness. Buckle is going in by Old Navy TJ... I I've only so seen them in a mall. I'm thrilled, and and I I've actually wondered how um, how they have been doing inside Provo Town Center. I, I just I just don't make it to Provo Town Center as much anymore. Well, Provo Town Center, I feel Center, like, it's, I feel like it's, it's struggling it, just a little going bit. Downhill. So yeah, yeah. so maybe that's. I mean, I don't know if they're going to stay there, but maybe like they're wanting to doing a south. storefront. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I love that. I saw another standalone buckle recently as well. So really? they must I've never try. seen one. Yeah. Hmm. Because at first cool. when I heard that, I'm like, that's fake news. But yeah, <laughs> it's real. Anyways, hmm. that's what I heard. Um, and also Home Goods. <gasps> that would be I great. I love yeah, your gas. Too. I know. <laughs> this is a great segment. <laughs> if I can just announce things to you Stop. two and just be yeah. like, oh. No, well, so it kind work. of, I mean, it goes hand in hand with TJ Maxx. And I literally, oh. I was like on, you know, when you have a mission, I was yes. on a mission. And I, I had to have these particular Halloween goblets that I was looking for. And so if it's not at one, you naturally search the other. And there wasn't a home goods here to search, so I'm so happy to Well, and the closest home goods is Is American American Fork. Fork. Is it? Mm -hmm. So there's not one in Orem anymore. There's a TJ Maxx, but, but it's not a Home Goods. Goods. There never was. was I don't there? think there I thought like was. in that Toys R Us strip, like where no. um, mm-hmm. Joann's used to be, right there. No. Okay, no. maybe not. So uh, this this will be big. We don't awesome. need to leave town. Yay! And then um, I think the two big events. These are like fun, fun events. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I better pull out my calendar to make sure I give you the first one. Is still not going to say it till I have it out. So on September 18th, it's Saturday, is the Harvest Moon Hurrah. Yay. It starts at 3, okay. but it goes clear till 9 or 10. Okay. So it's something you can drop in, or at 3 o'clock, there's pumpkins, tons of games for kids, interaction. Guess who we got to perform? Alex Boyer. <gasps> Stop Stop it. It. Yeah. How great is I that? I know. Emily Harriman knows him. I was at an event last week, and she had just told me two days before that he had just signed to come to Harvest Moon Hurrah, so I totally walked wow, up to incredible. him. that's incredible. And I said, 
because he was talking to my boss. He's been on the cover of Utah Valley Magazine, so she was talking to him. And I'm like, Alex, I am on Spanish Fork City Council. And he's like, Spanish Fork, I'm coming to you guys. He knew who we were. Oh my gosh, he's like, come and say hi when I'm performing. I'm so excited. Oh, so, oh, so cool. So it's awesome. going to be packed. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, that will be. Yeah, it's so still come added. early. When is yes. he performing? Like towards the evening part? Or yes, is it? I would okay. definitely say he would be um, seven o'clock. Okay. Six o'clock. Okay. Six ish. Most Six definitely. <laughs> yes. Okay, Same. somewhere around Same. there. Perfect. Okay. So okay. Not and, as and what other event. event? The other one. Have you guys ever been down to the airport for Wings and Wheels? <gasps> no, but you yes. told us about yeah, it. You I guys, think. it is okay. So cool. Okay. Like as an adult, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Oh, I agree. But for kids, so cool. They have cars that are going to be going like 200 miles an hour, jets, helicopters, fire trucks, fire engines. You can see the hangars. Like, do you guys, do you know what a hangar is? Yeah, I do. Where the airplanes uh -huh. are. Like it's so cool. So much food. It's I think eight to five. Oh, good. Yeah. So, so all day. A lot of fun all day. Okay. And what day is that? That one is the 25th of September. Okay. And I believe tickets for that are $12 if you pre-buy them. Okay. And then the day of is a little bit more. Both you of buy those them events online, you can get on sportfork.org okay. and just go to events and click on them and you can get a lot more details because, oh, but they're good. And this month is so fun to go to activities because the temperatures are cooler. Yep. Yes. But it's still so great to be outside. We're, we're a it's cool a nice, town, guys. Yes. We are. Well, and it's nice to start your day in a t-shirt and then just take a sweater for I the know. evening. I know, I love that. And then be out that. strolling. Take a blanket and yeah. go watch mm -hmm. a good or performance a in the and just park. curl up. Yeah. Oh, guys. So this is going to be good. This sweater weather and pumpkin spice. <laughs> I need to Yay. go buy my pumpkins for my porch. Yeah. Macy's okay. here I come. Take pictures so okay. we can post them because okay. your porch is rock. I know, and I haven't even been to Macy's like this last week, and then Mal showed up. She's bought her pumpkins before me, and she had them uh -oh. on her porch. Oh, okay. I'm like, where are you? It's time. Yeah, it's, it's time. time. Coming up next, we'll talk to the guru of simple, easy dinner menus. Stay with us for Tasty Details. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. We live in a busy time, work, school, kids at soccer, it about doesn't stop. Then you realize, what's for dinner? <laughs> Our next guest has all of that under control. Please welcome Chelsea Lords from Chelsea's Messy Apron to the table. Hi! Hi. Clap for all of our food guests. Like we get giddy. Oh no, please. I mean, can we start eating the <laughs> potatoes well, out of the bag? Not even edible. I'm excited. I, think I know it's why. We come at dinner time, and we're all a little hungry or something. Well, there's two things I'm really thankful for. I'm thankful for you, and I'm thankful for Instacart because <laughs> yes, life the, the two things coming together like make for the perfect marriage for a mom like me who's like, seriously, I want something flavorful, I want something good, I want something easy, I want something that the kids will eat, something that will serve well for the whole family, yeah. capable of, of thawing me and, and doing a little something something on the side, but being able to add in a few things that you can have on hand or in the freezer or Instacart in a couple hours, you're yes. my girl. <laughs> Instacart's the best. It well, is. we've loved your harder recipes, I call them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> harder. But, so we called Tell you back for the this. easy ones. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Tell us about what you're doing right now, Chels. Okay, so I was inspired by a friend. She's like, I love your recipes, but you know, a lot of them take a lot of time, a lot of effort, and when it's back to school time, like, I just don't have the time. Like, I love making them on a Saturday or a Sunday, mm -hmm. and so I thought, I'm gonna come up with a series of 30 really easy dinner recipes that you can make kind of, you know, back to school time when okay. you're yes. doing carpool and you're trying to adjust to new schedules, there's sports for kids, just like something you can throw together really fast in about 30 minutes or less, minimal chopping, minimal mm -hmm. ingredients. I want mm -hmm. these recipes, mm -hmm. yeah, right. <laughs> That's so that was the idea. Yeah, yes. no, I, uh, seriously, so I tried the, the Mongolian beef and it was fantastic. Oh, so like we just that. we just picked up the, the sweet potato, um, what are they? Tots. The tots. To do the so to good. try the tot shows. Like seriously, oh I feel gosh. like a stalker on your Instagram. I'm like, <laughs> no, what can I'm I do not. next? <laughs> and I'm so happy that you're compiling them all in one place because yes. these are the types of recipes that I reach for. I'm like, what? And there's some new things I've learned from you too. The mirepoix. 
Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big word. Yes. Tell us what that means. Okay, so that is just, it's a French word and it's for onion, carrot, celery. And that's, you know, basically the base for all flavor in dishes. And so most, you know, soups or Italian dishes or casseroles, like start with that, you know, you'll saute that. And so um, in a lot of my recipes, I use that, but as you know, it takes a lot of time to, you know, yes. chop up. I mean, oh my gosh, it's my favorite. And so a lot of stores now, they, you know, see the benefit of selling it. So in the produce section, they'll sell actually a box of already, or like a little carton mm -hmm. of already I've seen like up. the, I buy the onions and the like bell peppers and stuff yes. or like a fajita so pre -mix, So they have that as uh -huh. well. And they've also now have it as like a freezer, like frozen vegetables. I don't have it here today, but um, a lot of my recipes use that. And if you just pick it up, then there's no chopping, but you still have that really great flavor. You have, okay. you know, those, that depth of flavor. Um, and that, that you're saves to your you like recipe. a half an hour of like chop, chop, chopping. <laughs> saves you some time yeah. for I would never sure. think that carrots would be one of those. So it's mixed together. It's tiny, tiny. Yeah. So right. celery, right. carrots, onion, just right. in that I would, little I, I can phase. see uh -huh. the celery and the onion, but I'm like, I don't know if so I would have Carrot adds that. sweetness, uh -huh. so okay. it's really like an integral part of that okay. combination. So if you so, do like a bolognese or really so many dishes start with that. <laughs> like, I don't know what a word. bolognese, and I don't even remember the first word that she said. Like, she'll Bologna. send it to us, we'll post it on the Instagram. Goodness. Okay, so okay. T -t -t walk us through yeah. a recipe or some of your favorite stuff. So. A lot Ooh. of this, like the concept of this series was to have very flavorful dishes because, I mean, we can all throw together like a Kraft mac and cheese. That's an obvious thing. But right. I wanted to have very flavorful dishes that are just about as easy as a Kraft mac and cheese that your kids will love. Um, these are all tested by my children. They like all of them. There is one that's a little spicy that we leave off spice and I share about that. But all kid approved. Um, okay. So these are some of the like shortcut ingredients I use. So there's like a rotisserie chicken stir fry. And instead of, you know, chopping up tons of vegetables for stir fry, stir fry, you know, you can get bags now of a ton of different vegetables in the freezer section. So I just use this like already cooked rotisserie chicken and then like a four ingredient stir fry sauce, like dinner's done super oh quick and it's gosh. really good. Tastes homemade. You know, you're not, you're not really, you can't really tell that it's like frozen veggies. Here's another shortcut that my kids really love is I this. Love these too. I love yeah. these too. I, I mean, actually they taste do great. Know that. You just kind of knead it up and microwave it, and then you can do a quick um, like ground beef dish, like the Mongolian mm -hmm. beef. I have a Kore Korean ground turkey, and so you can just kind of do this as the base, and you're not spending time on rice. And so while this is in the microwave, you can whip together the meat sauce. Yeah. I've done that yes. a few times, even when I've done like a crock pot mill and then I've forgotten about the rice or to put it in yeah. the rice cooker, like that seriously it's throw it in there for I like know. a minute or two. Quinoa? They, I also like have this yes. one in quinoa but in I did a few recipes. Really right? and the, yeah, and that's what I was, I was just going to say, so even when I did the Mongolian beef for the family, I did I did the traditional rice for them, but I made cauliflower rice for oh, myself. Oh great, yeah. That was just that's also in, in, in the packets, yeah, yeah, for low carb, that's great. save the carbs. There's one, this one's maybe one of my favorites, my kid's favorite, we do actual like nachos, but with these fries. If you haven't had Alexia sweet potato fries, like game no, changer, they're no. so good. They're crispy, crunchy, delicious. And where can we find these? These are, this is all freezer section of Walmart. So, or I mean, these frozen ones. Oh my gosh, the so fish we just, tacos. Too. Oh, yes, so I good. forgot. Yes, yes, they were so I'm good. So proud. <laughs> yeah. I'm not kidding. I've been stalking her because I'm like, what can I like pull that we already have that the kids maybe because you usually say maybe fish sometimes too, and they're like, right. but if they're fish sticks. We literally made tacos with fish sticks. My guys, kids love it. But so you know what? Good. Fish sticks. You add a good sauce on there and put them in some tortillas. You like it's surprisingly good. It's really good. So, so this we is just nachos. Throw we just threw, I just threw some black beans, frozen corn, and cheese, and baked it. And like, so, so good. Uh, there's like a little drizzle sauce Do you if you want. you cook this but first and then yeah, put yeah, that yeah. on? So cook okay. these first, um, and then put on the toppings. My kids inhaled like trays of these. So we they're love really good. potato fries. I, I imagine potato fries. I'd like that. And these are like the next best thing to a good restaurant. Like they're very, very, okay. very this, tasty. This says Trader Joe's on it. Oh, this one is a Trader Joe's. So Sweet if you haven't potato. had gnocchi, it's uh, potato dumplings. And I love gnocchi. It's mm -hmm. like one of my favorite but things. But it's not gnocchi. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's gnocchi. another gnocchi. I know. <laughs> yes, we got that I always like, Chris, I want to order it. Gnocchi, <laughs> right? Why is there a G? It's confusing. <laughs> right. It's confusing, but so good. This one already has a sauce. So I have uh, one recipe that's just this, chicken sausage and pesto. You bake this in the sausage on a sheet pan drizzle pesto over it, it tastes gourmet. Like, and no one will be the wiser that it you. took you five <laughs> minutes to make. Um, in fact, here's the pesto, which I actually use in a few recipes. Pesto is really easy to whip together, but you know, busy school no, nights. No, I want like, that kind. Buy yeah. it, and this <laughs> is freshly made, so it's got a very, I don't really like the 
the shelf stable. It's a little, I don't know, some people like it. So I really like this one though. It's um, refrigerated, like freshly made. It tastes mm. really fresh. It's got a ton of flavor. Um, and, and this is just in the refrigerated one? section of the grocery store, like okay. by their, um, they also have like, you know, the um, freshly made pastas that you just have to boil. Oh yes, yeah, so yeah, I know right where that, that is. Okay. okay. They also have an Alfredo sauce that's pretty good. So like this is a huge, if you have a dish that's just lacking a little bit of flavor, like this adds so much flavor. It's just basil and um, pine nuts, Parmesan Ooh. cheese. So it's just like a good flavor booster. And so mm -hmm. I add this to a lot of the recipes on the series. Okay. Um, this one, I these know. are yeah, crushed. Tell us about this. I'm obsessed with these. These are, they have crushed garlic and ginger. You can just find these in the freezer section of the grocery store. Oh, and it's like one cube is um, a clove of garlic. And so instead of mincing up your own garlic, mm -hmm. I actually love to, I love to do all my own veggie <laughs> chopping, but I realize I am unique. So um, these, <laughs> these are really great. They have this and ginger, and then you can just ginger. pop them in yes. mm -hmm. recipes. And so they're really, really have you easy. Have used a bottle kind before? I have done the bottle too. Okay, okay. yeah, and that's, that's okay too. That one's great. Okay. Or right. even like the jar that big. It's yes. gonna last yes. for years. Right, yeah, and just squeeze, squeeze. So that's a squeeze. great okay. alternative. Adds tons okay. of flavor with no extra work. Um, then another favorite shortcut are these like refrigerated dressings. Again, I'm not a fan of the shelf stable dressings. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I would always make my own. This is really is hard to your biggest, say. Your but biggest, you're talking to the real world here. Yes. Right. Yeah, that right. 20 minute dinners for busy right. moms. So if you're going to get a dressing, they have freshly made, or they're just more fresh, like they don't last forever, which I think right. is good. Right, the ones like in the refrigerated yes. area. They're in the refrigerated, usually in the produce section. Okay. And like this coleslaw dressing is really tasty. So like I toss it with a pre-made coleslaw mix, throw it on some tortillas, toss some rotisserie chicken with barbecue sauce, and make like a barbecue chicken taco. And they're really good. These That was another one of my kids' favorites. So good. Put some fresh wow. corn on top for some watering. crunch. Like it tastes very fresh, very homemade, but takes you, I mean, 15, 20 minutes to make, so. Taking out like the, the things that take a longer time mm -hmm. right. to like produce. Making coleslaw dressing doesn't take right. long, but it takes but to me, extra yes, minutes it would and be. more yeah. ingredients. And right. so also if you're no if you're like a college student and low on ingredients, like this is a lot easier than getting mail and right. vinegar and sugar. And then and having that all yeah. sit in the fridge to yeah. go bad. Yeah. So Chelsea, we just dove so quickly into this. Some of our viewers may not know. This is your third time back with us. Is that right? Yes, yeah. Third time. Third time. <laughs> And you are a major food blogger. You're not just yes. like small pants. <laughs> no, small she's big. No, no. She's big. So you're on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anywhere else that I'm missing? I mean Twitter, but okay. Twitter. <laughs> yes. Yes. Old folk. We Twitter. Don't I, I love Twitter, but and it's I Chelsea's am there. messy apron. Yes. Okay, and then when you go in and cook a recipe, you can save that recipe. So then you can go back in and then kind of have a little recipe book. Right, Compiled, so we added right? a new feature to the website and you can sign up for your own account. And so it's like having your own recipe box on my site. So if you do end up liking a recipe or there's one you wanna try, you can click the little flag. There's like a little flag icon on each recipe. You can click that and then it saves it to your recipe box. The sign up's really quick. And so then you can go to your recipe box, log in, you can look at all the recipes you've tried or maybe you want to try your favorites. Okay. So it's a really easy way to kind of like mm -hmm. sort through. I like that. I have that. over a thousand mm -hmm. recipes on the site. No, so you do my not. Really, so there's a lot. So it's helpful to have, you know, just your favorites or ones you want to try in one spot. We oh. need you to do a cookbook. <laughs> I mean, that's our only yes. private one, yes, but yeah. Oh, wow. One so thing. cool. Yeah. Thank you. This is inspiring. Like it is. this makes, and I always feel like this, the shift from summer to fall is when I, I'm in Want the kitchen again. Want to cook again. some more. Yeah. Yeah. So this right. is perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Yes, yeah, thanks thank for you so me. much. Such a pleasure. <laughs> and it, thanks, it, it, it does, it does You're make it more exciting to cook. Yes, it does. I'm excited. Okay, awesome, awesome. There's more Studio Chatter coming up. Welcome back. We are so lucky to live in a community that has so many wonderful resources to share. What did we learn today? Ooh, I think my biggest thing was I-9. Mm. Like I'd never even heard of them, Natasha. Great, great, great find. I had well, seen little signs here and there, but I didn't know what it was about. Yeah, it was so, it was great to be informed. I mean, and, and I certainly won't take any credit for that, but it just so happened that we, we chatted a bit during mm -hmm. Fiesta Days and I, 
took the chance to lean in and just say, you know, this is very appealing to parents. Tell me more, like right. how to get more exposure, how to get involved, how to maybe try something and not be so competitive, but just to have fun, do it on a Saturday. So yes, it's well, we're a huge Super. sports community. Mm -hmm. So I think that there's a place for this. Mm -hmm. Oh, totally. Yeah, definitely. Totally. Mm -hmm. And I, it, it's similar to the rec program, mm -hmm. but the rec programs are normally on the weeknights. Right. Yeah. So this is Saturday, so it offers something and different. They usually have practices and a couple of games, so this yeah. is like a little bit different than that. Yeah, I think yeah. it's big. I remember even when my kids, and my kids are grown up, but even then we were thinking, they have to already choose. Right. Mm -hmm. So this like is a Like a three or four, mm -hmm. and then, no, this can be fun. Well, and even with rec programs sometimes too, and that's not to take away from them, but if you have working parents or other kids that are getting home later and it's just mm -hmm. too much, like getting one here, getting one there, doing it, but you know, the little guy yes. wants to try something different. Like, hey, you know what, buddy, let's try it on Saturday. Let's, Saturday let's go do it in a different way, yeah. Yeah, oh, so I love like that. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and cute, Chelsea. Oh my it's always gosh. fabulous, you guys. Like, my mouth was watering the whole time. It doesn't help that we haven't eaten dinner, at least me. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Everything she said, I'm like, yes, yes. But oh. she really did. She dumbed down the recipes for yes. us so that we can actually And do even that. her recipes normally aren't too hard. Far out there. Right. Too difficult. And she's very step-by-step -step on but her website. But this just, like, consolidated the time mm -hmm. spent, which that, for me, is huge. And I'm so visual. Mm -hmm. Like, I love that when I'm on a blog that shows, like, here's the picture of this brand or this. Because yes. I think we normally go into the store and get the same things mm -hmm. all the time. Oh, yeah. totally. And yep. so to be like, oh, uh, oh, okay. Is, okay, and where to I find that? It. I can do that. Yeah. Well, I and have you've to, tried them. Well, and I have to admit, the timing was perfect because we had just purchased a brand new refrigerator. So I was looking to kind of fill it with some oh, new yeah. fun stuff. And then it was 30 days for back to school. And then there were just, you know, different and new things to fill the fridge with and try new recipes. So it was, it's been fantastic. Good. Okay. Thank we'll you for thinking that in. through. Yep. yep. That was good. And then we'll see you both at Gordo's Fun Farm. Yes, we will. Yes. Or the farmer's market. Either Either one is a great, he's great. great choice. He's so fun. Well, I'm voting that we get to be in the Halloween video this year, and they'll film there again maybe. <laughs> I'm totally speaking out of turn, but that's my dream, and then we can just spend the evening there playing. Sure. playing do you want to dress things. up? To of be course in I do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so looking to, to the future up. instead of the past, uh -huh. do you guys know what you're going to be for Halloween? I haven't you both thought about dress it. Up. Mm -hmm. Ooh. No, not yet. Mm -mm. Me either. No, I, I, I think about it usually on the 30th. The kids do. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, think I used to be way, way, when the kids were all at home, I mean, we thought about it and had it planned by now. Right. But now that I'm getting older, I'm like, well, where's my witch's hat? Or yeah. I'll go down and That's shuffle through my I've boxes of stuff. Because we've got gobs of outfits, so if anyone Barrett needs anything. wants to be a witch every year. Like, Does we she? try something new every year. And really? she always, or she's always drawn back to the witch, but a different kind of witch. So I don't know if it will be a more glamorous witch mm. this year. Or what, but, but she, she wants to be one again. She would like to be a witch again. That's what she has said. Oh and I've been teasing Gunnar. I said, well, you can be a chick magnet, and we'll just, you know, put the... <laughs> by the Barbie dolls, mean, Mom, I'm not going to be that. He is a chick magnet. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Well, oh. this was fun. We had great guests. and Yeah, we sure did. Super great fun. Show. Yep. Yeah. As always. Bring on fall, right? Yes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> We're ready. And learn so much about our city. Can't wait. <gasps> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thanks for being here with us. We hope you enjoyed the program. Tell a friend about us.